Hey guys, Garth Bond here. So, it's super late, uh, honestly. But we're doing telescope stuff. And, you know, telescope stuff is obviously done late at night. So, here we are. Dark for dark business. The Hobbit. Yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, we're doing the reflecting telescope. And we're using a laser collimator. Not super expensive in comparison to the actual telescope. Well, unless you have a really cr bad telescope and a really good collimator then maybe it's sort of uh the price yeah anyhow let's get started so i'll put the link of the product in, in the description or at least if i remember uh this is the actual laser collimator it's just a laser pointer essentially but it sits snugly and firmly in the focuser uh which allows for collimating proper collimating now you can actually collimate the collimator. There's a great video about that and I'll put it in the description. Anyways, we want to do the secondary mirror first. So, um, let's place the collimator here. And I'm going to put the camera down in a second because it's, it's actually hard to turn this and actually get the laser on with one hand. So I've turned the laser on and you can actually see the laser there in this um, target area. Um, I think you could see it with the with the camera. I hope. Um, now the point is, uh, and before we get started, pr just remember, uh, be careful with the laser. Make sure you know where it is, and I'll, I'll show you in a bit, uh, sort of the, the the dangers of that. But um, because we will be looking through this side, and potentially the laser might be uh, coming out. So definitely test it out. Make sure the laser is 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 either hitting um, sort of a secondary mirror here and not not hitting it and just going by so best way to do that quickly before we get started just take a piece of paper we don't see the laser there so it actually is hitting the the secondary mirror and we can look down that but anyway before we do that make sure this is snug see if it's not snug if it's even misaligned slightly it causes significant differences in the collimation accuracy so place that in as snugly as possible and again I'm going to put the camera down to get that um, I want to sort of hold it down tighten these bolts and have it really snugged up and make sure this target is facing the length of the actual telescope so hold on here okay I have that snug so um, we know that the uh, lasers because we put the piece of paper is not coming out so we can look down the hole and the idea is we want the laser to be pointing directly in the center of that small circle at the end of the telescope on the primary mirror there. Not sure if you can see it properly. But in order to do that, we just have to... Um, and it actually, it's, it's not bad right now. We want to adjust these Phillips screws. In this case, they're Phillips. Different telescopes have different, um, obviously, different screws. And we just want to center it, essentially. Now, uh, honestly, um, <laughs> recently I stripped this screw, and I'm having trouble getting it into the middle of the... Uh, of the circle there. I'll have to replace the screw in order because I actually can't, um, in this case I want to tighten it in order for it to shift over uh, into the center. So um, <laughs> my next task is, it's pretty close, but I, I'm going to have to replace the screw in order to actually properly collimate it. So that's kind of embarrassing, but um, yeah, that uh, I guess that's lesson there. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Those screws uh, seem to be sort of the standard size. Next is collimating the primary mirror here. And to do that, you want to loosen the locking screws. And then sort of tighten or play with the adjustment screws. And they will, as you play with them, they will shift that laser... And what you want to do is get it to the center of the targeting area. And in my case, it was just this one little 
or one adjustment screw which uh, uh, seem to suffice. After that's done, lock these up. Now don't lock them too hard because they will offset that uh, they will offset the collimation. Just lock it um, snugly or even slightly less than sl snugly and make sure that uh, it's still in the center and in this case you can't really see it because it actually is in the center of the laser is in the center of the targeting area there which means that the laser is coming down from the collimator hitting the secondary mirror hitting the primary mirror and then going back and on the same path at which it shot out um, if that makes any sense uh, and that's it the the telescope well is collimated let's pretend that the secondary collimation was successful um, again Yes, we have that issue there with the uh, with this screw, but there you have it. Uh, quick collimation tutorial. Hope it was uh, useful and um, yeah, there you go. Thanks, guys. Uh, subscribe and to the channel and like the video. See ya.